Okay, this video is about finding the area of a sector on a circle. Okay, so first of all, we need to discuss what is a sector. I've never heard of a sector before. What is this? So, if we have a circle right here, a sector is just a part of the circle. So, if you were to cut it in half, just half the circle, or maybe like a pizza slice, or something like this, a pizza slice, that's what we call a sector. So, again, if we have a circle, It'd be like a pizza slice out of it. So something like this. All of this part right here, I'll even highlight it. All of this section right in here, like a pizza slice. That's what we call a sector, a sector of a circle. It's made up of two radii, radii and then an arc. Okay. That's what a sector is. Now, if I'm finding area. I mean, it's part of a circle, so I need to remember how to find the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So let's go ahead and do this. Area equals pi r squared. If the radius in this case is 8, we're going to say pi times 8 squared. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. We carry along our pi, and this is in terms of pi, so 64 pi. That's how you find area. Now, how do you find the the area of a sector. So what we do is we have this equation right here. Again, this is part of a circle. So this is kind of like arc length, um, except we're not going to use circumference like an arc length. Instead, we're going to find the area of the entire circle and say, well, a sector is just part of a circle. So we're going to come up with a proportion. It looks just like this, where we have area of a sector divided by area of a circle, which is the proportion, so just sum of the circle divided by the whole circle. We want to know, well, what's part of the circle? Well, we can use degree, because there's 360 degrees in the circle. So if we can find out this degree measure of the arc, or, or uh, of our sector, the central angle at the sector, then we can just divide it by 360 of the whole thing, and that's the proportion. Okay, if we want to change it into more of a formula, we can say, well, cross multiply, so we get degree measure divided by 360 is equal to area of a sector divided by area of the circle. So we cross multiply degree measure times area of a circle is equal to 360 times the area of the sector. Then we could divide by 360 on both sides, and we'd say degree measure divided by 360 times the area of the circle, and that's the area of the sector. So if we come down here, it's written a little bit nicer. It looks like this. Area of a sector, degree measure, divided by 360, times the area of the circle, and that's the area of the sector. So let's go ahead and practice this. I just want to find the area of this yellow sector all in here. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, again, the formula is degree measure. I'm going to write dm. Let's try it. Lowercase dm divided by 360 times the area of the circle. Okay. So the degree measure of this sector right here is 36. We're going to divide that by 360. Oh, I wrote 360 up here. It should be 36 divided by 360. And that's being multiplied by the area of a circle. Well, the area of a circle, we just said a little while ago, pi r squared. Okay, so the radius in this case, in this example, is 12. So we have pi times 12 squared. 12 squared is 144. And we'll go ahead and multiply it by pi, and we'll leave this in terms of pi. So 144 pi. To find the area of the sector, now you just combine all this. You just multiply and divide all this together. So 36 divided by 360. Multiply it by 144, and we'll leave it in terms of pi, so we get 14.4 pi. This is the area of our sector, the yellow. Okay, the next example. Hmm. Well, we want to find the area of the yellow again, okay? Just this part of the circle, not the whole circle, but just this part, this sector. So we're going to say the formula, which is degree measure, divide by 360 multiplied by 
the area. Okay, so the degree measure of this sector, this part right here, well, if I know this whole part on the white side is 240 degrees, and I know the whole circle has 360 degrees, I can find the yellow by subtracting. So we say 360 minus 240, we get 120 degrees is left over. We can track our work, just make sure 120 plus 240 adds up to 360, which it does. So our degree measure of the yellow sector is 120 divided by 360, and again, I'm just plugging it into the formula. So we're going to multiply that by the area of the circle. The area is equal to pi r squared. The radius is 9. 9 squared is 81. We'll keep it in terms of pi, so 81 pi. Now we can just multiply all these, put them in the calculator. 120 divided by 360. Multiply that by 81. And you end up getting an answer of 27 pi. Okay, and this would be the area of the sector of the yellow piece. Next question. This one's a little interesting. It's actually telling us the area of the sector. It says the area of the sector is 3 pi. Okay, and we want to find this degree measure. So what is that? I'm going to call it x. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, our formula is degree measure divide by 360 times the circumference, or times the area, excuse me, and that's equal to our area of our sector, so I'm just call it sector. Okay, sector. Okay, sector. So I'm going to just plug in all the stuff that I know into my equation and see what happens. So first of all, degree measure. I don't know that. That's my x. I know 360. I can find the area. The area of a circle is pi r squared. Radius in this case is 6. 6 squared is 36. We get 36 pi for our area. And it's equal to our sector, which the area of our sector it says is 3 pi. Okay, I'll actually write it in black. Okay, so how are we going to solve this? Well, i got to find x. So to find x, I'm going to get rid of this 36 pi first. I'm going to divide. Why divide? Because it's being multiplied. So divide, I'll put it in green on both sides. Divide by 36 pi on both sides. So what I'm left with is, because these cancel, I'm left with x divided by 360 is equal to 3 divided by 36, which is a fraction. I'm actually going to leave it in fraction form, too. 1 over 12. And the pi is canceled because there's a pi on top and a pi on the bottom. So I get 1 over 12. Okay, the easiest way to find this now is you could cross multiply or, again, just multiply 360 because you want x by itself, so just multiply by 360 on both sides. Okay, so you end up with x on the left side. Again, we're multiplying by 360. So you get 1 12th times 360. If you put this in the calculator, 360 times 1 12th, you end up getting the answer of 30. Okay, so we end up with 30 degrees as our degree measure of our sector. Okay. Next question. Again, it's asking for the area of this sector. Okay, so it's degree measure divide by 360 times the area. Okay. So the degree measure in this case, well, here is our sector. The degree measure of the central angle is 90 degrees. We divide it by 360. We multiply by the area. We can always find the area. Area is pi r squared. The radius is 4. 4 squared is 16. So our area is 16 pi. We can plug this in the calculator. 
so 90 divided by 360, multiply it by 16 pi, we end up getting 4 pi, and this is again in terms of pi. Next example, we want to find the area of this grade section again. So we can say degree measure, divide by 360, times, times the area. Our degree measure in this case is given to us. It's 36. Ooh, that was bad. 36. We divide it by 360. And again, we multiply by the area. Well, what is the area of the circle? The area is pi r squared. The radius is 6. 6 squared is 36. So we get 36 pi for our area. So we say 36 divided by 360, and then multiply it by 36 pi. We can leave in terms of pi, and we end up with 3.6 pi. And the last question, we want to find the area of this grayed out section. The interesting part is we know the angle measure, the degree measure of the part that's not grayed out, the white part. And we want all of the other, all the rest. So again, we can use the same formula, so degree measure, divide by 360. And we multiply it by the area. Okay, so we're trying to find this degree measure. Well all the way around the circle, all the way around is 360 degrees. If I know this part is 45, I can just subtract out 45. I get 315 for the degree of everything else, all this gray part. Okay, so that's my degree measure, 315. Divide it by 360. And then we multiply by the area. Well, the area is equal to pi r squared. The radius is 6. 6 squared is 36. We get 36 pi. If we plug this in the calculator, 315 divided by 360 multiplied by 36 pi. Again, we can leave in terms of pi. We end up getting 31.5 pi. Okay, so that's it on today's video over area of a sector. Good luck.